Thank you for staying with us. All right, so I'll focus on you, Simidele. What can be done to drive the much needed policy assessment in the country? And for Tokumbo, which would be coming, you'd also be talking about still on um, district in terms of the multiplicity of taxes, taxes. taxes as well. All right, so let's have it. When we talk about policies, policies are actually being controlled in NAFTA by the Federal Ministry of Health. What we do is to regulate and control the importation, manufacture, exportation, advertisement, sale and use of food, drugs, cosmetics, medical devices, packaged water, chemicals and detergents. Mm -hmm. And what we do is to ensure that the information is out there. And how do we get the information out there? The very critical tool that you can use now is the website. Everything that we do in NAFDAQ is domiciled on our website www.navdac.gov.ng. If you go to the home page, you'll see everything that has to do with food, drugs, cosmetics, under industry, under services, they're all written there. But apart from going to the web page, because of course we know not everybody uses the internet, mm. we have a lot of meetings with stakeholders, we have a lot of awareness, campaigns via um, going into the streets or printing leaflets, just to create awareness on the activities that we carry out in NAFTAQ. So we engage a lot in stakeholder meetings mm -hmm. and awareness campaigns. So when there's any controversy like we had recently with the hike in tariff, we ensure that we sit down together at the round table to, to come to a consensus on the way going forward. So yes, a lot of means are being used to disseminate information on the activities that, that happens in the agency. All right, Tukumbo, so let's talk a bit about the multiplicity of taxes. Okay. Now, multiplicity of taxes, in the technical way, refers to a situation where a particular tax base, that is the income or revenue, is subjected to tax by different tax authorities. Mm -hmm. Now, what we have in Nigeria is that we have three tiers of government, the federal, the state, and the local government. To ease and avoid this multiplicity of taxes, as we know it, what the Federal Ministry of Finance and the Joint Tax Board has done is that we have an approved list of taxes that specifies what can be taxed at the federal level through FRS, what can be taxed at the state level through LRS, uh, for Lagos, LRS for Lagos, IRS mm -hmm. in other, other, uh, other states, and then of course at the various local government. Anything outside the approved list is not allowed and it is illegal. However, the challenge we have is that most people are not aware of this. And now some non-state agents, uh, that's what I call them, take on the advantage of the ignorance of people to maybe exploit them. Now, that does not take anything away from the fact that sometimes people mistake levies and rates for taxes. It's, levies is quite different from taxes, and then the rates that you pay for using certain services are also different from taxes. We need to understand all these things for, for us to have a good understanding of it. For us in Lagos, we do not have and we do not allow multiplicity of taxes. That's what we do at the state's internal revenue service. And we've had instances where some people have written to us and we have provided clarification. We actually have in place a standing team, which is called a tax en enlightenment and education team, mm -hmm. that does that on a daily basis. The thing has been replicated at the federal level called FIT, and every opportunity that we have at JTB, we try as much as possible to bring in people from the MSMs, the NASME, and they are always invited so mm -hmm. that we can also provide further clarification. Mm. That's the situation we have, to have. That the list on the approved list is quite long. Mm -hmm. That much I will admit. It's about 52. And effort is being made to actually harmonize that, and uh, both at the federal level and also it's something also we are looking at at the state level. I'll provide further details maybe as the program progresses. All right then. Uh, let's come to you, Theresa. Yeah. Would you agree with the school of thought that we still operate an unregulated environment? Yeah, that's I have to agree with because fine, they 
all the regulatory bodies are doing their job fine. <laughs> they have all the tenants put in place, all their regulations are put in place fine. Even we're discussing it outside when we're talking, him and I, that well, they've done their part, but really it's not affected. Implementation. It's not, implementation is for more or less, I don't know if it's, maybe it's, I won't say it's zero, but let me say, so that's absolutely true because I am an entrepreneur and I know what I've gone through. Mm -hmm. You understand? If I talk about NAVDAC, I've had it with NAVDAC up to here. You understand? <laughs> so that I had to stop. <laughs> I had to stop my business for a while and oh, move wow. into other things. That's to tell you how, you know, the environment is actually, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with SM, SMEs, MSME and the rest. Because the rules are not explicit enough. The rules are, because I was in EDC, they gave us all the rules. I was happy. Cottage industry, yes. Just a kitchen and a store. Fine. I got everything ready. When I put all the documentation in place and everything, apart from getting to NAVDAC and so many touts and agencies blocking you, I mean, agents blocking you on, on, at the gates, even Gateman will block you and tell you I am an agent. You talk to me. So those Everybody things have yes. So, so those things have to be you know nipped in the board and let it not happen again. I'm glad there is a website now and things are now mm -hmm. explicit. But since 2014, it's been it's not been an easy you know journey, journey for me and um, I had to stop. Even recently, I, I just heard again that there's a hike in price. Even though I have paid up to an extent, then they, they came to my house to check. My, my facility and told me zero is not possible. So I had to go back again, start looking for funds. Normally we are looking for funds, bank will not give to you. Then I have to go and build something separate. So I started from the scratch again. So how long, then how can we get this economy better? If I'm still rebuilding, rebuilding for the past six years because mm. of the regulatory bodies that are not explicit enough for us. There should be on apps, the social media, mm. things should be easily accessible. I'm glad he told me that they are going, the tax is going on app very soon, mm -hmm. which I said, fine, so I can mm -hmm. pay my tax from my bedroom. A lot bedroom. easier for mm -hmm. business owners yeah, as well. Business owners, mm -hmm. and it's clear which is um, federal, which is state, so I know where I need oh, to, where I belong with. to. Yes. You understand? And I'm glad NAVDAC has improved as well, so I can go, and the website is effective, ma. Yes, it is. Because, you know, we have this a lot of... be a good time good to time just for bring us you to, in, so yeah. I think you should... Um, <laughs> Speak for, for Navdak Nav 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 yes. and the challenge she yeah, had yeah, yeah. apologized for. But we were actually were speaking just before the program started, mm -hmm. and she said this happened in 2014, I think. Yeah. And I told her that well, since 2016, and um, we um, we had started making the um, website more robust. But as I speak to you now, you know, I spoke about the website earlier. I said it's www.navdak. .gov.ng. Okay. And on the home page, we have all the classes of products. We have food, cosmetics, chemicals, herbal, and things mm -hmm. like that. She said she had a cosmetic product, and I said she should go to herbal and cosmetics. At the right hand side, you see e registration. Okay. You know, e registration where you could click on and it should take you to a registration.navdac.gov.ng where you could apply electronically mm -hmm. and it will even tell you how much you're going to pay mm -hmm. and you would pay on the platform there. Okay. But apart from online. That, yes, you pay wow. online. Okay. Via remit and things like that. Okay. But apart from paying online, there's also the requirements. If you go under regulations, it will give the regulations for your cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you also go um, under the guidelines, it will tell you the guidelines for the micro scheme, for the small scheme. It will tell you if you want to import your products, if it's a cosmetics or a herbal, or if you, you know, it will give you the, the procedures mm -hmm. and the classes. Yeah. So it's okay. easy to, to manage now Seamless because, process. yes, That's everything is really in there okay. on the platform. Thank you so much for that. I'll look forward to <laughs> so getting just, my. Just like I'm sure this is a very too. important. That's, that's why. That's why I'm not there. out there. Mm. I just do things within my space, and I'm not out there. I want to scale up, but I can't scale up because I know there's a regulatory body I need to at least, you know, talk to and put me on that space. Right now, I can't go to shops because I don't want shops to be closed down. Yeah. I know the rules, but. It's only me that I know. Some people don't even know. They do it underneath and sell around, but mm -hmm. I don't know what, what we're putting out there. So I think we should really get to the grassroots and help all these uh, micro, you know, all these MSMEs. So that's I'm definitely so it's not just uh, it's not, sure it's no, not no, just because I'm opportune now. to even have mm. all this access to this information. Some of them don't mm. even have it. Mm. They're not educated to that level. Online, they'll say what is online, so, and they want to grow their businesses too. And we are the economy of our country. Of so course, how do we expand? Course. Oh, Baba yes. Jude, do you have anything to say regarding this? Uh, well, as for that, I want to say uh, it's about the 
the, the executor and those uh, I mean operating. Sometimes uh, I mean the operators too are very. Sometimes it's not that cumbersome. Some are mm. cumbersome, some are not. Because you see my office. I mean, I, I said we are the most friendly. I mean, organization to SMEs. Why? Because. Our registration is very simple, mm -hmm. and then it costs 13500 to register with us. So, opus is still cry. That why, where, I mean, I understand. If you want to run a business, honestly, there are things you must do, and you must do right. So, regulation, I, I mean, the followers too should just look at things and do it rightly. Mm. And you want to do, we have told you, if you cannot do limited, do cooperative. We register cooperative. You must not do it alone. Mm. But there is, a, there is a problem in this country. Everyone will be CEO. So the more you want to be CEO, honestly, I'm not against that, but follow the rules. But you can come together and be a multi-CEO. Mm -hmm. Cooperatives, the more the merrier. You might need 50 million. If you have 50, you book 1 million. Honestly, you get there. That's right. yeah. So that's what we're encouraging in our place. That look, if you, after teaching you on basic of export, mm -hmm. why don't you come together and do things jointly so that the fun will be there. Because if you start business and you started borrowing, I think you will not. Mm -hmm. you, you'll, be, you'll be paying interest forever. Mm -hmm. But if you can come together, pull resources together, you'll be able to have more and strength to follow the procedure because procedures are key, which majority of the SMEs are not willing to do. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Sometimes it's not as terrible as they claim. But the procedure of, uh, how will I start? Some people will come and say, okay, bring it to your office. 24 hours, you get it. And they have it. All right, but uh, Tokumbo, let's get back to you finally before we wrap this up. What is the LIRS doing in order to make this process seamless for business owners? Yeah, yeah. essentially what we have done is that even from the beginning of this year, we have made, because ideally you are supposed to register your business to formalize it. Uh, that's you do it at, what we had before is a manual registration and what have you. All these ones we have now done, we can do electronically. Mm. You can file your returns electronically. In fact, this year, what we did was we didn't allow people to file manually until we had to extend some time because some people said they, they didn't have access to IT facilities, okay. which, were, which we provided at our tax stations. But because we now realize that not everybody actually is that IT savvy, we had to open it up to allow for this manual thing. So we have made it, it's much easier for people to do. You can file your returns, you can pay online, you can get your assessment also online. Mm -hmm. So, so that life becomes easier for everyone. And then also we have tried, we have a very robust website that gives you all the information that you need to know about the tax that is due to the states. Okay. Do you get, so that you, nobody can come to you and bamboozle and try to maybe try to extort anything from you. And also, uh, going forward, we're going to go live next month after integration with a JTB tax identification number, uh, which will happen on July 1st in Abuja. So we will have an integrated tax admin system, which we are launching, and okay. it will affect each and every taxpayer resident in Lagos. So it's, Unfortunately, it's, that's all we can take for now. We are out of time. <laughs> thank but thank you, you very much for joining welcome. me in the studio today. Thank all right, you. well, that, that has definitely been a solution-driven discourse. You would agree with me. I can only imagine our panelists and contributors have provided a lot more clarity and inspiration for those of us in the micro, small, and medium enterprises space. We are at the close of this information-packed session. We even managed to throw in an extra 30 minutes of course. <laughs> However, it almost feels criminal to wait till next year for the next one. Please take advantage of the resource provided here by watching our uploads on plustvafrica.com and check us out on our Instagram, Twitter and Facebook address which is Plus TV Africa. Also you can assess all the materials generated here on Leapworld social media handles which who, which was a you know platform that collaborated with us. All this remains all this all that remains is to thank my astute guests, co-hosts, co-anchor and uh, you as well, my viewers, for being a part of our celebration of the United Nations MSME Day 2019. Do have a good day. Bye.